Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for the opportunity to me today to present my research entitled Media Information Exposure and Stunting Prevalence in Rural Area Banyumas Regency, Indonesia. So, uh, I am Siwi Pramatama Mars Wijayanti and my team Erna Kusumawati, Arum Firda Ayuma Firwah and Kolti Sisiaran. We come from Department of Public Health, Faculty of Health Science, General Sudirman University. So we began with the introductions. Stunting is a global public health concern with a goal of decreasing stunting prevalence by 40% between 2010 and 2025. Based, based on WHO, the stunting children as who's, uh, the children whose height for their age is lower than average and at least two standard deviation below the median of WHO child growth standard. In Indonesia, the prevalence of child stunting is remained high, is, uh, has remained high over the past decade and is around 37% at national levels. So to, to minimize the incident of stunting, the awareness of prevent Preventive measures such as meeting dietary needs during pregnancy, regular prenatal care, exclusive breastfeeding, ensuring adequate food and eating habits are very relevant. So, however, there is still limited information on mothers' exposure to stunting information and a history of his, uh, infectious disease, especially in rural area. So, in our study conducted in Banyumas Regency, uh, the prevalence of stunting is remain high in, in 10 uh, locus or 10 village in the, in the Regency of Banyumas. So particularly in rural areas, but we interested to see about the, how the exposure of information to mothers and also the history of infectious disease. So the aims of the aims of this study is to analyze the correlation between media information exposure, history of infectious disease to the performance of stunting in a volumous regency. So this is the method sections. Uh, this is a case control design conducted in 10 stunting locus in uh, Banyumas Regency. You can see in the map the lo locations of the recent study in the 10th village or locus uh, in Paninkaban, uh, in, the, in the Pekunchan Community Health Centers, in Gumelar, Chilongok 1, uh, Patik Raja, and there's three village in Jatilawang and Gunungwetan, uh, Karanglawas, Gendawangi, and then in Srawat, uh, Daptar in Community Health Center Sumbawan, and also in Pandak uh, in Baturadun too. So we take all of the cases, uh, a total 181 uh, stunting children as cases, and we also search for 181 control of the with normal children and so the comparison is one and one uh, between the cases and the control so for the instrument we uh, data collections we we collect by questionnaires and the questionnaires is about exposure of knowledge involvement in attending classes for pregnant women participation in poshandu participation in under five classes and history of infectious disease so after the data collections, uh, we did the data analysis by univariate analysis by presenting data in frequency distribution table and also bivariate analysis by the chi square test. So this is the result. We can see from the characteristic of the respondent, both of the case and control mostly only uh, complete for education in primary and junior high school. So the mothers, <coughs> sorry. The, the, the mother's level of education is mostly uh, finished the primary and junior high school and the housewife are uh, the main activity of the two groups in the study. And a total of 42.5% of respondents live in a house with more than four members of family, while only 35.3% in the control groups. 
So we now see the result of the standing information exposure. Both the cases in control are equally active in attending the portion group. But only 78.3% uh, of the cases who answer that receive the information about standing. And for the, de for the details, many respondents in the case in control understood what standing is. But relatively few knew the causes, the risk factor, and the stunting characteristic. So, uh, in general, mothers knew about stunting, but they lack of knowledge about the details about like the causes, the risk factor, and how to prevent the, the stunting, and also the the symptoms or the characteristic of the stunting. For this bivariate analysis, we knew that there's a correlation between stunting information exposure and the prevalence of stunting. So, uh, from these results, we should know that mothers need to realize that pregnant women's dietary intake of good food, good quality food, as well as sufficient iron and folic acid during pregnancy is an essential combination of nutrition that can avoid stunting in infant. So they should know about how to prevent the stunting, how to have a good nutrition. This lack of knowledge could be the root cause why so many children are still born stunted. Preference research also reported that in insufficient maternal dietary awareness and poor paternal education are related to stunting. Uh, and most of the community consider that stunting is solely influenced by the genetic factors of both parents, so that people sometimes just accept it without doing anything to prevent it. So this is misinformation or misunderstanding is very dangerous. In fact, uh, nutritional, social, environmental, and cultural effects will also determine the stunting. And uh, we move to the result of infectious history of infectious disease. We, we knew here from the table that diarrhea and acute respiratory infection are the most common infectious disease affecting children in study area. But from, from the bivariate analysis, there's no correlations between the infectious disease and the, the stunting prevalence. So the res results is different from the previous uh, research that that, uh, that show that uh, infectious diseases may cause or affect the, the nutrition of the children and affect the, how the children grow. So maybe it will affect the stunting, but in this study, there's no correlations. So the conclusions in our study highlight the role of media information exposure to the prevalence of stunting in the study area. While history of infectious disease did not correlate with the prevalence of stunting, the media information exposure in the research covered the awareness causes, feature, and effect of stunting on children. So the importance of media exposure to increase uh, parental knowledge and understanding to prevent standing is required. So it needs effort on the parts of different parties to implement health education with a variety of media to prevent and minimize the occurrence of standing in the community. So this is uh, our research. Uh, the research information of our research and let's together to prevent stunting, so the, the, the cases of stunting in Indonesia can decrease. Thank you for the opportunity. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.